to Powder My Nose. We are live at Quillox Victoria Island, Lagos for the Greenview Awards nominees party. So I'm going to go talk to a couple of the nominees. People have been nominated for different categories such as Most Promising Actor, Most Promising New Artist, Best Actor in a Supporting Role and so many more tonight. I did promise you some fun tonight so let's go have some fun. <laughs> Tonight. I'm good. You look very lovely. I love this. Um, okay, so very quickly, um, what what um, category were you nominated for tonight? I'm nominated for Best Supporting Actor for the movie You Me Maybe. I'm nominated in the category of the Most Versatile Actress. <laughs> best Supporting Actor 2018. Give you awards. Best Director, uh, Best Screenplay, Best Actor, uh, Best Supporting Actor, and Best Cinematography. Um, a couple of categories actually. Um, so Akunde, I was with her, I worked with herself, yeah, so it's a family thing. Yeah, so uh, um, screenwriting for Best Picture, um, Best Supporting Actor, I think. I, I, can't, I can't remember all of them, but I know like five of them, the five come categories. Most promising artist. I was nominated for uh, one of the um, the most promising actor. Most promising actor. Two categories: one best actor okay. for Hakunde lead role, and also best supporting actor for my role uh, in um, Stanley Ohigwari's Idahosa Trails. It's the bridge, so it's been nominated for the best directing, the best costume, the best cinematography, and the best set design. Red carpet vibes. <laughs> Of your films this year do you think actually helped you snag I, I wonder I mean versatile means like there were different films obviously so I guess there were several I wouldn't know which ones exactly it feels very good I think it feels fulfilling for, at least for those of us who actually like film um, who look forward to filmmaking excellence it's not just about the money the fact that you know that people recognize the fact that you're doing good work so for me this is this is a good thing, that's what we want, that's what we wanted. Yeah, but I've been in MTV Sugar, Jennifer's Diary, It's Okay Moms as well, where maybe one of those films. I thank God the movie, the movie here, The Bridge, yeah. has represented Nigerian in Hollywood. Yeah. So I am happy because even to encourage this kind of our, this uh, Green View Award, of course if they don't see quality movies, this thing may not be possible. Yeah. So we encourage them, we encourage them, we work hand in hand, we do a kind of symbiotic advantage. So that's why, as a filmmaker, I believe when we do something that is solid, yeah. a solid movie will promote the industry, will promote Nigerian. I know, yeah, it's a category I'm very happy about because it basically proves that, you know, whatever role it is that you're given, posh, bush girl, you know, rich, poor, whatever, you pull it up believably, so yeah. Isn't that like the hallmark of a good actor, right? Well, Being able. Yeah. A, a good actor should be able to pull off any role convincingly, so yeah. So far, 2018, what's been your most interesting role to play? My most interesting role, I played a couple of good roles. Though. Okay, um, I would say the most interesting role I played in a, um, a film that is out already in the cinema, that would be the role of Bayo in Moms That's Why I played Funke Akindele's son. My most interesting role in 2018 was the role of Tommy Lola Wright in the movie I produced called Run. Yes, yeah, coming in 2019. So watch this place, guys. My most interesting role this year is actually a role in the movie Knockout Blessing which is coming up on December 28th. Okay. It's directed by Daryl Lighton. So I play a very, very interesting character. I like the way you're smiling when you say that. It's, it, it's, it's really something very different from me, yeah. So we're definitely going to be looking forward to seeing that when it comes out in December. Um, and we wish you all the best tonight. And when the awards actually do come around, we wish you all the best in winning this category. All right. We don't have to feel like a street guy, you know, street like, ah, we are close, we are feeling, ah, it's me, yeah. Same bad guy character and in Star Girl. Yeah, sure. Tell me a little bit about that. That's a crazy movie. Uh, someone that is so desperate to get whatever she wants. Yeah, and uh, we are, we were part of the people that drew her, that trained her to be hard girl. Yeah, so that's just it. Let me guess, she became harder than you taught her? Kind of, kind of, because she killed everybody. Including your character? Yeah. Well, I think that's the, 
the kidnapping scene that happens on a, on a, on a bridge, an old bridge. It, those bridges they used around 1940 something, which I, which I intentionally take as a selling point that you know, I always think of what I could do in my movie that will not become so common in other movies. So it's so interesting if I with my director, Kunle Afolai. So if you see it, you will know. If you watch so many movies, you won't, you won't, you won't see such. See a little bit of Hakunde on TV, I think a couple months back, and I was, I won't lie, I was really intrigued by how different your character was in that. Tell me what that was like for you playing that character. Interesting, very interesting, uh, because it's a bit different from the usual slapstick comic character that people are used to. I played the role of Hakunde, who, incidentally, his name was um, mispronounced by a friend, Ibrahim, who's from the north into Hakunde and that's where the movie got its name from. So it was very interesting. Uh, the dynamics of uh, survival instincts, love, family challenges, you know, personal ambition and all that. Made it very interesting. A whole wide range of a very robust character I must say. I, I enjoyed playing it. I can tell that you did. You have this smile on your face that says I enjoyed that. Stan Summer, and something I've always wondered, when you are directing and acting and you're the script writer, how, how do you, do you jump behind the camera, then go in front, then how does that work exactly? So no. <laughs> so I wasn't the actor. <laughs> I wasn't the actor. I'm the producer and director. Okay. Okay. Uh, so Frank Nunga was the actor in the movie okay. and he got Best Actor. Uh, Rahama Sadao uh, was nominated for Boss Best Supporting uh, Actress. Uh, so myself for best directing, uh, cinematography, Fumida Ramola, uh, script writing Tommy Adeshino. So you can, that's why I said it's a teamwork. Uh, yes, so I'm just like a representative of the whole team. Yeah. Tonight. I mean, you find the time to do whatever it is you want to do, right? So hey, yeah. <laughs> well, we're hoping that you do win this award. We're wishing you all the very best. Tonight. Thank you so much. <laughs> Yeah, I have many plans, like dropping songs, but I think I'm dropping songs with my new artist that they just signed. So we are working on uh, mistake album stuff, so yeah. So real quick before I let you go, so um, what's, what's your word to anybody out there who's still hustling, trying to get in the game? What would you say to them tonight? They should just believe in their safe, like, they should just believe in their safe and also Pray everything will be fine one day. Just one call, everything will be fine. Okay. Uh, my music. Yeah, I'm working on a new single titled Emeka. It's uh, the song talking about drugs, say no to drugs, and uh, the overdose of use of drugs and all that. So, how harmful it is. So, that's where my music is being channeled to towards yeah, this period, like that. I think that's actually really good how your music has such a deep and strong message yeah. for people. So far, 2018, what's the best Nigerian, like homemade film that you've seen? Too many to mention. Too many. I can't just pick anyone now. What's the last one you saw? I can't even remember. Like, my brain is just, oops, but I know I've seen a lot, so I can't really say this now. But um, so far, even if you can't remember which one, do you think that we're getting better with our films? Uh, yeah, of course. We're going places. Sure. Attending the Greenview Awards, how important is it for um, us to appreciate our own artists here? It's really important because uh, if we don't appreciate our own, who will? Okay, but then going, moving forward, um, what kind of character would you really, really love to play? Maybe a gate man. <laughs> Why? Why does that intrigue you? I don't know. I just... Loved, I just love seeing myself. I, I see myself in that character. Like, how can I do it? Like, okay, with this little body. Like, yeah, it's somewhere, but I would love to do it. Okay, well, let's hope that that happens for you soon. Sure, sure, sure. Tell the story you want to pass across. Well, my motive, my main motive is to entertain people, meaning to educate them while entertaining them. So, any role at all uh, that would help me do that is what I would look forward to. But most importantly, Frank Nonga has not even e e e e reached his potentials. So, this year and beyond, I'm going to be doing a whole lot more action comedy, the kind of stuff you probably only see in Hollywood movies. Yes, you know, jumping from uh, skyscrapers, car chases, and all of that. You know, we're still going to compress all of that high-end action. You know, and I'm going to be experimenting with the love, the love life of Frank Donga. You know, what's it going to be like? How's he going to ask a girl out? What's it like on a date? Oh my God, that would be fun to see. <laughs> so we're going to be expanding okay. the territory.
you, you just talk of African beauty, they just want to call you Nigerian. They don't want to know if the, uh, you're from Syria alone or any other place, they just think you. And we need to celebrate our own heritage, you know, and let the world know. Griffey Award is not just going to be uh, done in Nigeria. This um, media edition is Nigeria. The next is uh, going to be in South Africa, and the next one is going to be London. So we want to make sure that we go global and tell them that we are beautiful, we are creative, and we give it our all to make people happy. We give it our all to, to sow seed to the society. What I mean sowing seed, we have a lot of foundations. We have people who do not even name their foundations, but they seem a little to give. There's one company everyone should look out for out there. Um, talking about standard, talking about quality, talking about the best of entertainment. You know, um, we're trying to change the narrative and of course, um, tell stories the way they should be told in the industry so apparently Greenview Entertainment is all about um, creativity it's all about doing it the right way you know me we need to reward you know great talent we need to reward people it's the best way we can get the industry together so I believe that um, the award is long overdue yes um, we need to really give back to those who have actually been able to put the society together because um, entertainment has been one of the spine of the society you know it has been the common thread that has you know been able to weave together the various multicultural ethnic groupings in the country so for me um, an award like green like greenview award is um, such a relief for a common man in the society especially for those who believe that their creative abilities are not being appreciated enough you know that tonight you're you're here attending the nominees party um who are you supporting do you know any of the nominees that you would really love to see win an award actually i'm not supporting anybody but <laughs> anybody that wins fine with me i'm okay <laughs> okay support um my brother um sean Laya, best directing a year lodger so thank you for sticking with us tonight i'm maria joali and this is red carpet vibes you're yeah, looking at us ladies and gentlemen it's your boy your friend your brother your uncle your cousin your neighbor, Frank Donga on the beat, on the screen. You're already watching your Naja. Just leave the dial alone and keep watching it. You're already watching something good. Call your neighbor and your friend. Watch it. Don't touch the dial. Leave it. I goes.